Bit, bit, Bitsy and Whipper. Let's talk about police officers. They do an amazing job. And when you commit yourself, you know what? They look after mm-hmm. us. And that's, you know, I, I commend them for what they do. But every now and then you can let your guard down. Just before I get onto this story, how about a Cincinnati police officer has been fired for getting a tattoo? This is ridiculous. Is it on the face? You should be able to get a tattoo if you're a police officer. Mm. Thing is, though, he got uh, the word pure on one fist and evil on the other. Oh, my God. (laughs) Okay. And he's not a bikey, he's a police officer. No, he's a police officer. It's coming out here. Do you want pure or evil? He's been given the sack. Okay, so this is down in South Australia, and a young fella's been pulled over on his motorbike, and he's been defected for a blue light mm-hmm. that he had on his motorbike. Apparently, you're not allowed to have a blue light. I don't now, get it. I don't know if that's because it's too close to the police lights. No idea. But Maybe. He's, he's been defected, and this kid's gone, oh, well, hang on a minute. You're a bit of a hypocrite, and started filming. This is what happened. All right, so this officer is going to defect my bike for a blue light, and he's got bold tyres. Yeah, I would have to. Disagree with you. Have a look right here. Tell me what you think of this. If this is anybody else's tire, you defect it. Where's the wear bar on that? Inside where? You're absolutely right. So Uh I will defect that when I get back to my. No, can you defect it now? So the the cop Mm. had bald tires. And he was def- he was defecting this poor young kid because he had a blue light on his motorbike, and the cop went out and looked at it and went, yeah, you know what, you are right. Oh, valid, I'll have yeah. to defect myself when I get back to the station. Well, he'll go and fix it up. I mean, that kind of thing happens, doesn't it? I know, it's a tough one. How do you argue oh, with that? You can argue because your job is to stop the public from doing the wrong thing. Mm. You can also go get your tyres changed. Yeah, and he would need to, uh, without a doubt. But I reckon when you find those people, that must be the number one thing that annoys a police officer. When there's a smart guy who tries to point out that, well, you're doing the wrong thing or you sped. Yeah, I know, I know. Didn't you, I had question, to do that. didn't you question a couple of speeding fines recently? On the show? Didn't you question a car park as well that you got done for? What was the one I did? Can you argue yeah. a car park? Didn't a car question, park. Like didn't a you photo, question, yeah. Didn't I saw you the question photo. question something because you were two inches over the line or something like that? Parking fine. Yeah. 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 That so, was unfair. So, that was really unfair. I was so, furious. So you can argue? No, or? it's not a police officer doing that. That's completely different. That's a parking officer. You're pretty brave to say it to their face. A, a cop. But yeah, you are. Like when the you siren the goes spot. and they want you to pull over, even if it's a nothing thing... Your heart is if, racing. Do you know what? He was having a bit of a go at him there. But I would, if you could see that, and you could see that a cop was being a bit hypocritical. Oh, but do you still say it? What's the mate, point? Okay, you're taking me for my blue light, but yeah. can I just point something out? Doesn't change Have a look anything. How bald your tire is. <laughs> God. Right, let, hey, let's let's come to an agreement here. Oh. Hey, I love you guys. You guys are doing a great job. Hey, if I slip you a 50, will you just drive in the other direction? And he goes, all right, all right, off you go. Oh. I mean, my, big, uh, my biggest recent issue was the photo that came through when I was busted on my phone in the car. Yeah. And that was fair enough, but the way that I looked at it and thought it was my wife because I could see boobs in the photo and then realised it had hairy legs and it was me. Oh, similar cup size, you unfortunately. Yeah. Amazing cleavage. Oh, yeah. That got a Huge lot of views. Boobs. What did you in a group. I called the I called the police station once to report a police officer because I was driving <laughs> along. This was years ago. I was driving along and I noticed that a police officer was driving, holding his mobile phone whilst texting <sighs> or talking on the phone. Yeah. And I'm like, that is terrible. That is the number one thing that they tell us we can't do. Double yeah. demerits. Don't use your phone. So and I, you rang them. So I called the police oh. station oh my. and I was like, I Don't just wanted to report. This is atrocious double standards. And they're like, mate, it's legal for police officers to talk yeah. with the mobile phone in their hand. So get off the phone, you idiot. Yeah. They I'm do like, what they okay. need to do. Please don't take my number plate and <laughs> forget this ever happened. <laughs> oh, I'm Matt DeGroote. <laughs> nope. See you, mate. <laughs> oh, all right, let's go to Ali in Blacktown. Ali, what did you see a cop doing? The other day I was in the truck on the way to work and a car basically, the cop next to us was on the phone and he picked, he was touching it and then he picked his phone up and had it on a phone call by the looks of it. Mm. And he had to slam, we had to slam our truck's brake on as he nearly slid into us. Oh, I see. That's, would you, I mean, could you consider just beeping your horn going, get off, oh. get off, and just pointing to him, get off your phone, get off your phone. 
Yeah, literally. I'm like looking out the window going, get off your phone. And we're in a truck and he's slammed his brakes on and we've nearly gone up his arm. Oh, my God. Oh, scary. scary. You know what? I was on my phone one time at the lights and a, par- a, a, a police officer on a motorbike came up and he tapped my window oh. so hard. I nearly jumped Scares through the roof you. of the car. Yeah. It was the fright of my life. And he just looked at me and pointed and said, no, 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 no. No phone. And I put the phone down and that was it. Jeez, you're lucky I mean, he to get off with that one. He could have yeah. stung me big time. Scared the hell out of me. Oh. Thanks for your call, Ali. All right, 13, 20, 14, get involved. What did you see a cop doing that you thought, oh, this is a bit dodgy? If I'm not allowed to get away with that, how are you getting <laughs> away with it? <laughs> are we doing off-duty cops as well? Or no? <laughs> <laughs> well, Tess- hang on, do you want to take Tess? Yeah. yeah, Tess in Leppington, what did you see a cop doing? Hi, I live in a street where it's a left in and left out only. And coming out of our street, the policeman needed to turn right. So he's gone on to the turning lane for the left in yeah. and has driven along the left in lane, but he's turning right. So he's going down the wrong way, so he's broken, the wrong way street. He's broken the law. The main road. Yeah, yeah, but did you, he broke the law. Did you do- he wasn't in a hurry because I followed him all the way into Norellum. By the time I made my U-turn and came back... <laughs> Oh. He was just cruising along and then went into the station. Yes, the problem is you don't know why he did it. That's and you don't right. know why he needed to do that. That's the hard he argument wasn't in there. A hurry. If he was in a hurry, he, he would have put off. his lights on, but he wasn't. Tess, mm. did you do anything? Did you follow mm. him? Did you make any yes, sort no, of... I just, I just cursed him under my breath. And oh, well, 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 you got him. <laughs> you got him. Hey, he won't do that again. <laughs> Small wind. Uh, Fitzy and Whipper.